first French Mistral warship is supposed to be handed over to Russia tomorrow, Friday, but there won't be a delegation from Moscow at tomorrow's planned handover ceremony in Paris, we hear now. That's amid new uncertainty that, as to whether it will actually happen or not. The first of the two helicopter carriers should actually have been delivered in late October as part of a $1.5 billion deal that the two countries signed off on three years ago. Just to remind ourselves of the recent history, in summer it was a done deal then anyway, but then in September, French President Francois Hollande set conditions for Moscow over the role in uh, the Ukrainian crisis. Later that month, there was still no decision, although Russia did get an invitation, an official invitation, to Paris for a handover ceremony for uh, November the 14th. Then in October, the French finance minister and prime minister claimed that the terms still hadn't been met, as they put it. Finally, just a day ago, the French defence minister said the exact date of delivery is still not set. So... What's going to happen over the next 24 hours? Let's talk to Ben Aris. He's editor of Business New Europe. Ben, there's a heck of a lot riding on this, uh, both for France and for Russia, but particularly France's reputation. We'll talk about it in a minute. Still 24 hours to go. We've been going backwards and forwards. What do you think is going to happen? Bearing in mind there's no official, as we know at the moment, delegation going from Russia. I think this whole thing is symptomatic of the sort of conflict of interest that Europe's got itself into. I mean, on the one hand, the political relations with uh, Europe and Russia are at rock bottom, as you know, um, over the um, the fighting in Ukraine and the the fate of Ukraine and its place in Europe. On the other hand, you know, Russia is the rising economic power in Europe, and is now the second largest consumer market, big rich country and people want to do business with it. I mean, this deal represents billions of dollars for the French. And so, on the one hand, they want to sell the ship and make some money. On the other hand, um, you know, sanctions and the ethics of that would suggest that they should, should not sell it. You know, after all, it's, it's a piece of military hardware. So who's and putting the pressure on France? Well, they're getting it from both sides, and they're getting it from within as well. I mean, they have to make up their mind what they want to do. And in a way, it's been quite embarrassing, because uh, although they've got a lot of pressure from the states, particularly not to do this deal, and some people in Europe have suggested that uh, NATO buy this ship instead and not give it to the Russians. On the other hand, you know, they, the cash on the barrel, I mean, money's already been paid. They're supposed to deliver. You know, you have contractual obligation to see the deal through. And so what they've been left is sort of shilly shallying in the middle. And here we are at the 11th hour and we still don't know what's going to happen. Do you think there will be a last minute delivery tomorrow or is it really too late for that now? I think not. I think on balance it's too embarrassing. I think there's going to be some sort of fudge. Um, but I think at the end of the day, you know, money will win out and the deal will be done. And people in France are just hoping everything sort of calms down in Ukraine and that there's sort of a move towards uh, reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Russia remains in Europe. It can't go away. I mean, Europe is going to have to deal with it at some point. And so they're thinking a little bit further down the line where things aren't quite so tense. They can close their deal and collect their money. Of course, if it doesn't happen, as you say, there's a bit of fudging happening here. France is in, is in an awkward position because thousands of jobs rely on the shipbuilding industry. And if this doesn't go through, there are other deals with India lined up. It's going to put their reputation about being able to deliver, be able to do what they've signed up to in contract, in doubt in the future. It's not going to help. Bad PR, no. isn't it? Absolutely bad PR. And you have to bear in mind, I mean, you know, this is actually more serious than it may first seem in so much as, you know, Europe is teetering on the edge of a triple dip recession and the European economy is in a really bad way. And so these kind of deals, large money deals, are even more important than normal in so much as, the, you know, the governments across Europe need cash quickly and France is on the verge of going into recession. And if you're entering a recession and then having to scrap thousands and thousands of jobs because this deal fails, that's just going to make things worse. Ben Aris, editor and publisher from Business in Europe, thanks for your thoughts. They'll be following this story, of course, over the next 24 hours. Maybe catch you again tomorrow.